All right, we are back on the Young Turks. And uh, Ron Paul has been getting a lot of heat lately over um, some old newsletters from the 80s and 90s where they had written some terrible stuff in those Ron Paul newsletters. Let me just give you an example here. Uh, order was only restored in L.A., they said, after the Rodney King riots when it came time for the blacks to pick up their welfare checks. That's atrocious. We've shown you 18 different atrocious quotes. I'll give you one more if you haven't seen it before. Uh, it said, opinion polls consistently show only about 5% of blacks have sensible political opinions. Now, these are disastrous. But uh, Ron Paul has said, hey, look, I didn't know that this was in my newsletters, even though the newsletters are named after him. He said, I didn't even read these things or didn't even know about it for 10 years afterwards. Now, before I read it to you, let me just make this note. Ron Paul supporters who say, hey, well, he didn't write it, somebody else did. Give it up, dude. Okay, I don't, I'm not interested in that defense at all. You're going to tell me that somebody let this kind of writing go on for decades in his name and didn't do anything about it? Even if he didn't write it, that he's not uh, complicit in that? Oh, come on, you'd have to be an idiot or cult, uh, personal, cult of personality obsessed fool to believe that Ron Paul didn't believe this stuff when he wrote it in, a, in the Ron Paul newsletter for decades and decades. So, you say, oh, well, how bad could it be? Well, let's find out. Uh, he referred to Martin Luther King Day, it was, of course, against Martin Luther King Day, and referred to it as Hate Whitey Day. And, it, and he uh, criticized Ronald Reagan for passing it. But, oh, he's just getting warmed up. That was no big deal compared to the other things. He said uh, that Martin Luther King was X-rated, and then get a load of these lies. A world-class philanderer who beat up his paramours, seduced underage girls and boys. Okay, I mean, it's just this stuff is sick. And then, I guess my favorite one out of all these made-up things about Martin Luther King is, made a pass at fellow civil rights leader Ralph Abernathy. How the hell would you even know that? What, did Abernathy tell you that Martin Luther King made a pass at him? And what, he told, he whispered it in the ear of racist Ron Paul? Get the f*** out of here, man. Come on. And then they, they, they published this newsletter, and they claimed they got a circulation of hundreds of thousands of people, and they put this crap in, and then he goes, what, 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 what? What, uh, racist, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, Martin Luther King's a pedophile, and Martin Luther King Day is hate whitey day, but I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not racist. Well, it gets worse. Well, the problem is, here he is on tape in 1995 talking about those same newsletters. And I also okay. do a, uh, an investment letter. It's called the Ron Paul Survival Report. And I put okay. that out on a monthly basis, which is a, a gold-oriented uh, newsletter. But it's also um, con being, uh, expressing concern about surviving in this age of big government. Well, uh, that has, of course, cost him some supporters, but it's also gained him some supporters. And uh, one of those supporters is apparently Stormfront. Uh, which bills itself as white pride worldwide, a uh, blog poster now, not the guy who runs it, but a poster on the website uh, said the reason that he supports Ron Paul is because he opposes Jewish supremacists, the Fed control of the money supply, and because he opposes Americans engaging wars for Israel rather than America's interests. Uh, that is unfortunate. Um, but actually the director, Don Black, said, we understand that Paul is not a white nationalist, but most of our people support him because of his stand on the issues. And Don Black, the director of Stormfront, joins us now. Don, welcome to the program. And um, Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I want to get right into it. So you say that uh, he's not a white nationalist, but you support him anyway. Are you disappointed that he's not a white nationalist? Well, it, it is what it is. <laughs> he's clearly not a white nationalist. He does not have the same world view we do. But we agree with him, our, his stand on the issues, which we believe are heartfelt, coincide with ours. Uh, I might prefer that he understand the racial issues that we deal with a little more than he does. Our purpose, we believe that white people in this country and in all uh, European countries, Australia, Canada, are facing a form of genocide through assimilation. When yeah, tens I know. Of well, millions of you know, Don, legal I could... and illegal aliens are brought here. That is genocide. So Ron Paul does not obviously agree with that. Right. But he he does uh, he does believe in securing our borders, and he wants to get us out of all of these trillion dollar wars. Uh, G given the links on your website, 
given your, the links on your website, the neo-Nazis, it's kind of ironic that you're against genocide, I guess. But, uh, but, but Don, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, are, you, are, you, are you claiming that uh, in America, where every single president has been white, uh, and I can go down the list of all the important, powerful positions being completely and utterly white, that white people do not have enough power in this country? That has all changed, of course. Obviously, all presidents have not been white. And whites will soon become, according to uh, uh, all census projections, a minority in this country. So you think Obama is now, now, of course, uh, Obama's not white. So previous to him, everybody was white. You think Obama's a harbinger of things to come? That's it. White people are out. Black people are going to be president from now on. JR, man, that's pretty good news, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, seriously, Don, I mean, do you um, really think that? I'm just curious. Or is it like something you do to sell stuff? I, well, I, 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 it's, it's an, no question that we are becoming, a, will be a minority. And we have white politicians like Bill Clinton who openly applauded that fact, the fact that uh, it, it, how wonderful everything would be when this traditionally white country, and it was traditionally white, of course, as you point out, our presidents and government has traditionally been white. Well, that is all changing, of course. It's obviously changing, but more our, our concern is the fact that we believe uh, our very survival is at stake. No other countries, no African country is faced with tens of millions of uh, outside, say, Asians coming into their countries. Asian countries aren't faced with this kind of massive uh, immigration. And so this is a threat well, they, to our survival Don, through a, assimilation. Don, there's a great irony there because uh, they come to this country because we represent equality for all, which you want to then stop. So then I guess they would stop coming because then we'd be a racist country. But, Don, let's go back to Ron Paul for a second. What no, made country, you... What, what, made okay. you a fa what made you a fan of Ron Paul? I mean, you, you say he's not a white nationalist. You say he doesn't understand the coming genocide. So w what was it about him that attracted you to him? Because his stand on the issues coincide with ours. I knew about the newsletters, of course, when they were being printed. Uh, I certainly was under the impression Ron Paul wrote them. I, I'm now convinced he did not write them. Uh, God, that is so stupid! Uh, and they don't really reflect his views. Some, some of the quotes that are being pulled out are a little bit out of context, but many of them are over-the-top, hyperbole, kind of thing you would expect to see posted on a message board on the Internet, perhaps. But his stand, his heartfelt uh, positions on the issues are uh, coincide with ours. So it's interesting and that, uh, that, you know, did you say that, that you thought his newsletters were over the top? Like even you uh, run a website for White Pride Worldwide, you read the newsletters and you thought, wow, that's really over the top? L.A. riots ended because of the National Guard and the police, not because blacks had to go pick up their welfare checks. That's just typical hyperbole, the kind of thing that, cutesy little things that uh, somebody came up with, whoever it was. They were trying to appeal to Ron Paul's paleoconservative base. They were trying to appeal to Ron Paul's paleoconservative base. They were trying to appeal to Ron Paul's paleoconservative base. They were trying to appeal to Ron Paul's paleoconservative base. God, that is so stupid! Oh, but come on, somebody else might have written that and said it was Ron Paul, and he only published it for about 20 years straight. What? What? No, he's not responsible for that. My ass, he's not responsible for that. No, look, Ron Paul might be right about Iraq, and, and I think he is, but <laughs> he's so dead wrong about this, let alone other issues, that even considering supporting Ron Paul is nuts. Which, is, which is that a code that word time. for racist base? Paleoconservative, of course, is a traditional conservative. I, I don't necessarily consider myself a conservative. I'm not sure what's left to conserve. But paleoconservatives, uh, yes, of course, uh, accept, uh, accept racial realities. There are racial differences. Uh, they're, they're inherent. They're genetic. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and we, we understand that. We are racial realists. Paleoconservatives tend to be racial realists.
There's some irony in using the words racial realism in the context that you used it in. But I want to show you one last thing here, Don. Uh, it's a clip from uh, Ron Paul from 1988. And he's talking about why the war on drugs is hurting minorities. I want to have you watch it and then get your reaction, okay? We do know that opium was used by the Chinese, and the Chinese uh, were, were not welcomed in this country. We do know that the blacks uh, at times use heroin, opium, and this, the laws have been used against them. There has been uh, times that it's been recognized that the Latin Americans use marijuana and the laws have been written against them. But lo and behold, the drug that inebriates most of the members of Congress has not been touched because they're over there drinking alcohol. God, that is so stupid. Now there, Ron Paul is saying that I'm, he's against the war on drugs, partly because he wants to protect minorities from the discrimination that they're facing on the war on drugs. Does that disappoint you? God, that is so stupid. No, it doesn't disappoint me. I want the government out of our business in all, in all, everywhere, all our lives. I think the war on drugs is an excuse, just like the war on terrorism, for a police state. And we have a, our Constitution is being scrapped. We, I, I believe in individual liberties. I believe in freedom. And I don't want some uh, jackbooted thug, to use uh, one description, kicking down my door or anybody else's. And of course, drugs are just, uh, if people want to use drugs, uh, they're, 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 that's their business. They're hurting themselves. But the war on drugs is, is just a, uh, it's a farce. It's, right. uh, like Ron Paul says, it should be canceled. Right. And I want the audience to understand something. You know, there are some things that uh, we, people that we massively disagree with can come to the same conclusion. So, for example, Don and Ron Paul agree on getting out of the wars. So do I, right? That doesn't mean that because Don supports Ron Paul, that Ron Paul supports Don, all right? And the fact that I disagree with the wars doesn't mean that I support Ron Paul. But I just wanted everybody to get the proper context. I wanted them to find out why Don was supporting Ron Paul, which doesn't necessarily mean that Ron Paul is supporting Don's group. He has, you know, said that he's not happy if, if you guys try to do, do voter turnout for him or whatever it might be. But I wanted people to get a clear view.